All right, today we're installing a flex fuel kit for a 2013 FRS. Uh, it's from P Tuning. Got it off Counter Space Garage. And they say to mount it there. So that's what I did. And the first thing you want to do is pull the fuse for the fuel pump. It's right there. And try and start the car so that you get rid of the fuel that's inside the rail. It'll probably start for a second and then die. Because we're going to have to take off the uh, couple of those fuel lines, or one of them at least. I tried using their tool and it ended up cracking actually. So this is one I had um, to be able to push in there release that quick disconnect and you'll probably get a little bit of fuel that still comes out next thing we got to do is prep the fuel lines here uh, so you can pay attention to the fittings that we've got on here uh, for your own install and those are just compression fittings which actually they said they were quick disconnects um, but I don't know if they just like ran out of them or what. So we ended up using those. Which you'll see later, a quick disconnect would have been easier for mounting this. So that's that kind of compression fitting right there. And um, originally followed the directions the way that they told you to put the fittings on and mount that. Uh, but I found out later that I think it's easier probably if you did it a different way, which is put that fitting on there that I'm pointing at, uh, the compression fitting, and then wait to put that part on where it screws on to the fitting. If you were to just bring the line in there and then screw it on, I think that's easier than trying to attach all of them together onto the uh, sensor itself. That's the existing plug for the Rear O2, and that's what you're going to use to plug in the flex fuel sensor harness. And then your tuner will tell the ECU to look at that as a flex fuel sensor instead of an O2 sensor. And that's the ground for the flex fuel sensor. It just goes underneath that 10 millimeter bolt. You can arrange the wire however you want that looks clean. That's how I have it there before I've zip tied anything out of the way. And then we just got to figure out how we're going to run this cleanly. Back there next to the clutch fluid reservoir underneath is a grommet. And that's what you're going to use to feed the wire through. You just basically cut an X with an X-Acto knife or a razor blade. And it comes through underneath there, underneath the accelerator pedal. And you can see where that is mounted above by the uh, brake pedal. Here's another look at it. You can see it mounted up there. I think they have you mount it here in case you buy the screen that also displays your flex fuel content. Um, Otherwise, I prefer, and I probably will move this eventually. I just don't like having things by my feet that don't need to be there, no matter how secure they are. You can see where the harness comes through, though, underneath that mount for the gas pedal. And then what I do is pull the wire a bit back through to the engine bay to get any slack out of there. All right, we primed it a couple times. And still. Looking good.
data logging. Flex fuel content, 71%. And this car's already been tuned, so I know that the sensor was working and everything, but that's just to show you it is. 